Hi, I'm Jim Marshall with Sandler Training in Tampa. Have you ever thought about a big ticket item that you would have loved to have purchased? Maybe a new sports car, a larger home, or maybe an exotic vacation, but you just couldn't afford it right now. Conversely, maybe you've been faced with an unbudgeted expense, maybe a car repair, or an unforeseen illness, and somehow you found the money to fix the problem. Your sales prospects face those same choices when considering whether to purchase your product or service. Once they see your presentation or read your proposal, they must decide if your solution is a nice to have, if they have the discretionary money, or is it a must have, regardless of the cost. Your job in the budget step of the Sandler selling process is to determine three things. Number one, does the prospect have money set aside to pay for the cure to the pain they're experiencing? Hopefully, you've quantified the dollar value of that pain in your qualification questions, so you know where to start pricing your proposal. Number two, if they don't have the funds readily available, are they willing and able to obtain those funds or perhaps reallocate resources to fix the problem? Number three, how much are they willing to spend on a possible solution? This last point is important simply because there are many prospects out there who have $100,000 problems but can only afford or are willing to pay maybe $1,000 for a solution. Your job is to separate those who have the budget from those who do not or cannot. The rule is no money, no sale. Until next time, Jim Marshall with Sandler Training in Tampa. Good luck and good selling.